What's up everyone? This is your boy HVK Plays and you are watching the first build video that I am putting out. I know, it's about time, right? Well, this is the first build that I'm putting out because it is the one that I use the most frequent. It is the most effective build that I like to run. It is the easiest way to farm your watch, in my opinion. It makes heroic missions with all directives a complete joke. Enjoy the gameplay and we'll get right into the build. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Now let's get into the build. All right, for stars, I am running the technician specialization primarily for the skill damage that you get. And you know, the concussion grenade, you can use your MPN grenade. Um, that's your choice. Now, my primary weapon of choice is gonna be the Harmony. This is the perfectly in sync rifle. Hitting an enemy grants 20% skill damage for five seconds. Using a skill or damaging an enemy with a skill grants me 20% weapon damage for five seconds. And damage increases are doubled while both buffs are active at the same time. So if you notice, the two skills that I'm using for this build are gonna be the drone and the turret. So those are gonna be constantly doing damage and so will I, so I will always have that damage buff to be doubled. If you are running a skill damage build, it doesn't make any sense to run any other talent on your gun. Now, my secondary weapon of choice is gonna be the mechanical animal. This is the assault rifle that has future perfection on it. Weapon kills grant plus one skill tier for 19 seconds and stacks up to three times. So now, because I have six yellows, this puts me in overcharge, which means my drone and my turret are going to be doing an insane amount of damage for 15 seconds. It hits hard. Now, my sidearm is going to be the Maxim 9, which is the specialization pistol. It gives me perfect spike. So if you are running those missions on all directives, you know that you know one of the directives is that you don't have any ammo, which is fine because this will give you perfect spike, which grants you 25% uh, skill damage for 15 seconds whenever you hit your headshots. So hit your headshots. All right, let's get into the pieces. I'm running a four piece hardwire with a Wyvern backpack with tech support and a Murakami chest piece with glass cannon. The reason why I run it this way is because with the four piece hardwire with the feedback loop, whenever I go from one part of the mission and I transition to the next, what I do, if you pay close attention, is that I break down my drone and then I break down my turret, which will give me a refresh of my uh, drone. And then I can deploy that drone. And by the time I run to the next segment of the mission, I now have my turret back. So it's as if I will always have you know, my, both my skills with me because of their duration. So I'll play it back for you. Now, 
for the backpack, I have tech support, which is going to give me uh, skill kills, increased total skill damage by 25% for 20 seconds, which means my skills have a total of 20 seconds in between kills to keep that refresh alive. And what's, what's so great about this is that there isn't a cooldown period. So your drone and your turret is going to be constantly doing a lot of damage. Now for the chest piece, I'm running glass cannon because for this build, you want to be in cover a lot. So now that 25% that you get is also going to be applied to your skills. And that 50%, hopefully you know how to move around and you're not going to be taking too much damage because like I said, you're going to be in cover a lot. Now another, uh, you know, best practice that I use for the um, hardwired is that when you notice that one of your skill duration is about to run out, what you want to do is you want to break down that skill one again and then break down the other one and then it refreshes it. So for example, if my drone is about to die out or if it's about to, if the duration is about to end, what I'll do is I'll break down the drone and I'll break down my turret and then I deploy my drone so I have another full duration of it again. It is best practice to not let your duration completely run out. You want to break them down because of you know, the benefit of having the hardwired. Now, there are different ways you can run this build. If I were to have it my way, what I would like you know, is to have one of my hardwired pieces to come with max skill damage on it already. This way I can either add max armor or max uh, weapon damage to kind of depending upon you know, my play style. Um, me personally, I would add max um, armor just for you know for survivability. Now, I recommend this build for you know a lot of you solo players that like to do a lot of heroic missions, and it kind of feels like you have you know two people with you because the drone and turret do so much damage, and then you have your rifle given from the sync, and then you have the assault rifle from you know future perfection, depending upon how you want to run it. But I would do recommend having those two skills on your weapons because your skills do so much damage. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Peace.